Okay, so uh, we're starting the day out at a local lake, county park, and uh, I'm on a hunt for crappie. So we'll see what we can find. Uh, it's my first time actually crappie fishing, and I am starting with uh, basically a oh, starting with a road runner. Uh, that uh, basically the goal is to try to find them first, and then I'll switch over to some of the stuff that I'm hoping I can catch more on. So beautiful morning. Let's get started. It's a little windy. I'm trying to get the Alder Baron dialed in here. Okay, I can see that this is fairly shallow, so I'm going to work down the other way, down around the corner. Now that I think I got the reel somewhat dialed in. This is like turning into a swamp on me. Yeah, I figure I might as well fish the bank. You know, this isn't one of the specific spots I was told to focus on. It's between them. Okay, we just had our first hit. Oh. oh well, we had the uh, had the first bass on. Okay, so this is spot number three. And basically what my plan is I'm gonna fish this spot with the road runner. It's a fairly long bank through here. I forgot my glasses, both my reading glasses for tying lures in line, but I have my regular pair, I just don't have my fishing pair, um, but also my polarized glasses today. So far most of the day it's just been really whipping winds. This looks like a good potential spot, it's got a little bit of a drop off there. Okay, I want to fish the lighter weight stuff, but it's just so windy. I can't control it. I can't get any distance. Uh, so, and there's so much weeds and vegetation in this lake that trying to fish the little road runner has not really been all that successful either. So, I'm going back to the tried and true Helgramite today just because I can weight on it to, to cast it in this wind. I mean, this is crazy. I don't know if the... You know, and honestly, the only crappie I've ever caught that I, that I can recall was a couple weeks ago on a Helgramite. So... And the other side of it is, this is a, uh, this is a really good bass lake. So, it's not that crazy to be throwing a bigger bass lure out here. I don't know if you can see the bow in the line. I mean, I just can't. That's one thing about fishing this really light line. When you get into the wind and stuff like that, and I'm basically getting occasional white caps here. Go. 
little bass. That's okay. That's okay. It's it's a fish. Here we go. No skunk. That was that uh, X fisherman offset Ned. I'm literally. I might have to tighten my hat so it doesn't get blown off. cast out there before this next big whip of wind started. I was excited to be out, enjoy some warm morning temps. I briefly thought about grabbing like a sweatshirt or a jacket. I'm like, nah, it's, it's nice this morning. There we go. Another little guy. Same thing, I saw the line start going, and I'm like, okay, I gotta, boy, he's a really little guy. Really little guy. Oh. I don't know if the bend in the line shows up on the video, but they've got this big horseshoe bend in the line. Part of what I have to do is watch for the Watch for the, the curve to start straightening out. So I'm trying to let it sink to get down a little bit. Might be a little bit better. three that we've landed. I know this is supposed to be a crappie fishing trip, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I have a feeling I'm not gonna catch any subtle bites today. Oh that one hit it when I was picking it up. Oh, I thought I hooked into a really nice one there. I don't know if this is a better fish or if he's just fighting nice. Just fighting nice. Nothing crazy. He hit it a couple times, so he gave me a shot. Come on. There we go. Fish number four. And it's funny because yesterday, as, as, I, as I was getting stuff ready to, for today, I said, yeah, I'm going out to a bass lake. I might as well throw a couple bass lures in there just to. I didn't have much, but I'm actually thinking like, should I ever, should I ever not bring the Helgramite? It feels like it's 10 degrees colder than when I got here. I'm sitting here trying to pick out a backlash and that fish this is the best one of the day that's sort of funny 
I thought I felt something. Love this Helgramite. That's not a bad little fish. Nothing great, but not bad. Thanks, buddy. Oh, didn't mean to belly flop him like that. Yeah, so that uh, that fish, <laughs> I was actually sitting there trying to pick that backlash out, and all of a sudden I, I felt something running with the, the rod. So, um, love the Helgramite. Yeah, absolutely, but I need to uh, need to get this backlash out. Yeah, you know, I think that fish just did me a favor because uh, basically I came down here to to get that backlash out, and it just pulled straight out. It's like it's sort of weird, actually. This one feels better too. Oh. Yeah, better. Not giant, but better. There we go. I think that's number six for the day. This one's a little fatter, too. A little, a little fatter, that one. There you go, buddy. That was a pretty strong take too. Oh, I missed that one. Saw the line start taking off. I felt him. There's another one. That's a little guy. That's a little guy. Little guy, still counts. I think that was three hits on that cast. I'm borderline shivering right now. Cause it's, uh, this wind is just something else. That feels decent. Might be the best one of the day. Another fat one. There we go. Nice fat fish. Come on, get out of there. That one was not coming off. Nice fat fish. Very nice, pretty too. There you go, girl. Well, the wind has died down a little bit and uh, sun has come out. So I'm going to fish this section uh, that I had some success on. I'm going to fish it again and uh, see if we can't pick up a few more. You know, I looked away for a second. I thought I heard something behind me and then this little guy took off with it. Okay. What's that number eight today, maybe? Like I said, we're getting back into the stretch where I caught all the fish. So, let's see if we... Uh, see if we can't catch another handful here. Ooh. Oh, 
calm down. There you go, there's another one. In a way, it's kind of amazing that you can catch, you have that little flurry of fish that you catch. And then for the most part, it's just nothing else. It's, Man, first bite I've had in a while. Well, the last hour has been basically nothing. Uh, so I'm gonna call it quits for the day. Um, it's, it's almost lunchtime, so I'm gonna go eat some lunch. But uh, hey, you know, it, it fairly good day. I don't know what I caught, eight, nine, something like that. Missed, really only missed one. There was a couple that I felt, but I never really hooked up on them. So, um, so it's a good day. So the, the Aldebaran on the Ben K uh, did really well. I liked the way it felt. I think considering the, the winds, which gotta be 15, 20 miles an hour uh, sustained at times, I think it did really well. Uh, so, you know, we'll keep fishing this combo a little bit. And uh, it's a little messy there. But uh, that wraps up day one. I think this is trip number 20 of the year. Uh, it's the first fishing work day of May uh, and uh, I'll put the total down here in the bottom corner how many I caught because I don't know if it was eight or nine but anyway I'm gonna hike back now to uh, to the truck and I will see you tomorrow thanks for watching bye